the Lady of the Lake. Her arm clad in the purest, in the purest, Shamase! Hey everyone, this is Joseph. Welcome to the channel. I saw this on Marfugal TV. Terrified tourists run for their lives in Times Square after a large manhole cover explosion. Throngs of terrified tourists took off running in Times Square Sunday after three manhole fires led to a loud blast that one nearby resident said shook her quote, whole apartment. Videos from the scene show pedestrians dashing through the crossroads of the world just before 7 p.m. It's almost like this could relate to the three wells of the world tree. Of course, relating to the magnetic field. And then powerful space laser beaming directly at Earth. The beam of, quote, radio waves is what scientists call a mega maser. It says when galaxies merge, the gas they contain becomes extremely dense, producing a specific radio signal known as a maser. Mega masers are powerful masers produced by huge galaxy collisions, like beams from cosmic lighthouses. This is one of the most powerful hydroxide mega masers known. And hydroxide is like a strong base. So I saw this about Yaksha, and um, it says it could be like nature spirits, and I'm not sure that's totally clear. It could be like the sons of God. And you will notice, if I do this correctly, hey, we did it again. You will notice that this gods right here is also Elohim, right there. So we've got Elohim two times in the same verse, but the next line, in the midst of the gods, he holds judgment. In the midst of the Elohim, you can't be in the midst of, of just one. It has to be a group. Elohim here is plural. And you say, well, maybe that's the Trinity, wrong. But the real kicker is when we go over to Psalm 89. Here's where it becomes totally comical and absurd to think this way. Okay, Psalm 89, verses 5 through 7. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. So there we have council language, assembly. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord? A God greatly to be feared in the council, council of his holy ones. Now, number two here, it says Hebrew sons of God, okay? It's B'nai Elim in Hebrew, sons of God. It doesn't mean sons of might, it means sons of God. B'nai Elim. It's the same, it's the equivalent to Psalm 82, verses 6, sons of the Most High. It's equivalent to sons of God in Job 1, 6, Job 2, 1, okay, Genesis 6, 2. I mean, you, sons of God, this phrase, B'nai Elim, B'nai Elohim, B'nai Ha Elohim, Job 38 is another one. All of these references refer to members of the heavenly host. So do you think the Mazar could relate to the Aurora Borealis? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Arigato. Matane.